if you you know do a hundred things one percent better that will make a big big difference or if you do 10 things one percent better it makes makes a difference but the key thing though is to making sure everyone in your team has got the capacity to put forward new thoughts new ideas this will make the boat go faster which is my favorite all-time line i know what i need to do i need to go and put in this amount of work i need to go out there and even do better there were many challenges and i think in every day we will have a lot of challenges in our lives it's how you use that challenge to motivate yourself we've been through enough down times when we tried to probably play too much great looking rugby and lost to do that again all we realize is you just got to win the bloody game it doesn't matter how you win it just go and win the bloody game and get off the field with the trophy. The thing that I was most proud about was being part of a team to deliver the best Olympic Games ever. And we can now say that because we don't have to be kind about every other Olympic Games, which is, you know, is, they're all different, they're all great, but I do actually happen to think London, for all sorts of reasons, really raised the bar. I had doctors and people in the professional world saying, Derek, give up. And I couldn't give up because I knew I had a lot to give and I could just give me a season, just give me two seasons and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll prove what I, what, what I can do. When I was 13 years old and I was like, and it wasn't, boxing wasn't um, an Olympic sport for women and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be in the Olympics one day and I'm going to, I'm going to win a gold medal like my, like my hero, Muhammad Ali. And, you know, they must have thought like, you know, okay, you know, you're only, you're only young, it's like, she'll, she'll grow out of that, you know, kind of thing. But I was, I was so sure and, and so determined that I was, I was going to do that. Visibility in sport is super, super important. Um, sport can bring a lot of people together. Um, mm -hmm. It can also um, show disabled people what is possible. Um, and, and having the, the opportunity to get involved in any type of sport um, is, I think, a, a, key, um, a key opportunity for everybody to have. Playing under the spotlight of professional sport with 90,000 people watching in the stadium, how do I get confident trying to catch a ball when it's windy, raining, the conditions are horrible. Well, I, I do that by the preparation that I put into it. You know, through the week, it's putting in the hours, it's going out there when it's hailing, windy, rainy, and getting myself being comfortable um, when I'm uncomfortable. It's not just about football, you think about all the females that are going into refereeing now, yeah. physiotherapy, and they might think I'm not a great footballer, but I can see a female doing that job, the visible. Now I can dare to dream and think, oh, well maybe I could do that when I'm older. So sometimes being invisible is, is so important. I think by having you know, the right spirit, the right culture, the right people um, you know, around us within the team and attracting the best people to come and work here and, and having you know, great facilities, great drivers. And it's a team sport, it's the biggest team sport in the world where you've got to get everybody um, you know, dancing in time. When the pressure's on, it's easy to run. But actually for me, and in most athletes' minds, failure, loss is learning. You learn by your mistakes. And I had this old helmet, and this helmet was so old, it didn't have a buckle, but I used to tie it on with a piece of string. Now that was okay when I was jumping on the 30 metre. And it was okay when I moved up to the 60 metre. But I started having problems when I moved up to the 90 metre. Because I was on the 90 metre one day and it was my turn to go. And I sat at the top, I started coming down the jump, picking up speed. I got to the takeoff and I put so much force and power into that takeoff that the string on my helmet snapped. And as I was flying through the air, my helmet fell off. <gasps> And do you know, it was the biggest mistake of my life. I really should have held on to that helmet because I jumped 37 metres, but my helmet jumped 98. 